Okay. Good morning. Welcome to our machine learning using Veka. In the previous session, you completed the what is a machine learning, what are the different types of machine learning, and then what are the advantages and disadvantages of those machine learning techniques. Coming to the introduction to the Veka. What is a Veka? Vaikunto environment for the knowledge analysis is called here Veka. Here Veka is a free software licensed under the GNU general public license. It's a New Zealand university. It's a developed by the New Zealand university. Here Veka con contains collection of visual tools. It is having the different visual tools and then algorithms. That is a Veka information. It consists of different tools. And then coming to the some of the advantages for the Veka, here it is a freely available. That means uh, under the GNU uh, general public license, you can easily download from the website and then you can install freely. And then it is a portable, easy to carry. That means uh, since it is a fully implemented in a Java programming language, thus run on almost any modern computing platform. That means you can run this on Windows operating system, Mac OS operating system, Linux operating system. And then it is having the collection of data pre-processing and modeling techniques. Here, the collection of pre-processing, pre-processing in the sense, removing the missing data, and then some of the different information it's having. That's why it is a pre-processing. That's it. it and then modeling techniques are there, different algorithms. For example, clustering algorithms, you will implement the clustering algorithm, you will predict in the model. And then it is used due to the graphical user interface. It is having the good graphical interface, easy to learn some information from these graphical information. Here, Veka is a data mining and our machine learning tool. Here, the Veka developed by using Vaikunto University in New Zealand. Here, that is the main advantages of Veka. Here, coming to the how to install the Veka. Here, for installing the Veka programming, go to this site. That means uh, www.vaikunto github. From this, you will install the Veka software. For example, go to this site. Here, I'm going to this site. Okay, open this one. Go into this site. From here, you will download the Veka software. Here, there is a download option. For example, if you have the downloading the Veka documentation, downloading the Veka for the Windows, click on the downloading for the Veka. Here, if you click here, then it will open the, that means it will download like this. The Veka software download in this manner. Here, for example, see here. Yeah, see here, you will have the Veka sound download like this. You downloaded this one, Veka 3.384. That means if you want to install this one, click click on this one. Well, one thing you should remember that before installing the Veka software, you have to install the Java software in your system. After that, after installing Java software, click on installing the Veka. First, you install the Java software. After that, Click on the installing Veka. Click on installing the Veka. Then asking for the yes, asking for that one. Welcome to Veka setup. And then click on next. And then I agree all these conditions. And then I agree. And then next. Next, that means it will ask the destination folder where you are storing the destination folder related information. And then next, and then install. Click install, then it will install. Click on install, already installed in my system. Okay, I'm showing that one.
okay after installing the vaca um, shortcut file appears like this click on this vaca shortcut file this shows a information like this it will open the vaca like this this is a vaca software here you will identify in the different applications and then explorer experimenter knowledge like that you have to explore what is the explorer you will discuss here different information after downloading this one launching the vaca that means if if you launching the vaca appear like this here in this way you will launch the vaca this vaca consists of explorer here what is this explorer this is called here explorer explorer is a environment to retrieve the data it is a, a particular environment for retrieving the data coming to the experimenter here what is an experimenter here it is a, a particular environment to make the experiments and do statistical test between the learning schemes here it is a environment here that means it makes the experiments and statistical testing for that purpose you are you are using the experimenter coming to the knowledge flow what is the knowledge flow here it is a java bean based on a interface for tuning and machine learning experiments here this particular knowledge flow for the interface tuning interface for the tuning and then machine learning experiment coming to the workbench it is a simple environment and then simple cli here it is a simple command line interface here this command line interface provided to run the vaca functions directly that is a these applications of vaca here coming to the next click on explorer here if you click on explorer here if you click on explorer environment appears like this this is a explorer here see here explorer i am showing the explorer here this is a explorer vaca explorer here you will find that you will identify the different information here this top view indicates that the processor pre processor classify clustering that means identify the instance cluster associate discover the association rules and then select determine the relevant attribute values and then visualize explore the data the main intention of machine learning here is a, the machine learning will use the statistical tools to explore the data that is a main intention of this one this a uh, vaca tool consist of this number of information not only that information that means you will discuss one by one here here what is the um, uh, pre processor tab here these are pre processor classify cluster tab associate tab like that and then what is a pre processor tab here here the pre processor tab select and modify the data acted on and then pre processing that means you are performing the pre processing means um, uh, identification of missing values and then removing the missing values and replacing the missing values and not only missing values here that means uh, modifying the data and then uh, re reducing the data size that is the main intention and then classify tab here what is a classify tab classification here train and test learning schemes that classify or perform the regression here you will perform in the some of the classification and regression prediction model here some of the regression and prediction supervisor learning uh, information training data you are taking the training data and test the learning schemes cluster that means learn the cluster for the data associate tab learn the association rule for the data here these are all and then select attribute select the most relevant attribute in a data that means the future selection is a very important here some of the attributes are not a important one that means you have to remove that attributes visualize view the interactive qd plot of, of, of the data in this visualize tab here you will identify the interactive 2d tab 
that is a processor that means for a first important tab here is a pre processor tab already discussed the pre processor tab here data processing performing the data processing tra transforming the raw data into understandable format of data that is a pre, -pre processing here real world data always consists of incomplete data not complete in format some missing here having some missing values inconsistent data not in a consistent format the consistent data in the sense different data not in consistent noisy data for example salary equal to minus 20 redundant data missing values dirty values and then lacking in a certain behavior trends and likely to certain errors are there the real value the main intention of machine learning here removing the, this type of data that's a pre-processing here in the pre-processing you are performing the data cleaning data integration data transformation and then data reduction and then data discretization and do conceptual hierarchy generation here data cleaning the data cleaning you handle the missing values and then you smooth the noisy data data cleaning is a process that means consistency in order to identify the consistency and the inconsistency and to remove the inconsistency by you by in this process and then data integration here what is the data integration step here that means you are collecting the data from the different sources some of the data may be flat file some of the data you are getting the oracle file that means you have to place in one certain place that's called here integration here in this particular integration you are performing the correlation analysis and then for the numerical data categorical data chi-square test you are performing the chi-square test for the categorical data and then data transformation transforming one format of data to the other format of data the best thing here is a normalization is the best example for the transformation here you are transforming the one format of data into the other format of data smoothing aggregation normalization and then generalization attribute construction these are all the data transformation here informatica in the informatica will perform the different transformation operations and then data reduction that means in the data data reduction is a one of the step in a pre-processing that means uh, for data reduction you will apply the data cube aggregation attribute sub selection dimensionality reduction numerosity reduction these are all steps in a data reduction. Finally, data discretization and conceptual hierarchy generation. Discretization and conceptual hierarchy generation for the numerical data. The conceptual hierarchy generation for the categorical data. That means you will apply this type of discretization. That means lower level concept into higher level concept. Concept he call it as a data collection. Lower level data collection to higher level data collection. Lower level data collection means, for example, you are collecting the data in a particular city. That means that to higher level in the sense, you are collecting the data in a particular country. And then classify them. What is a classify, classification? Classification provides uh, several machine learning algorithms for the classification of data. Here we have a regression, linear regression, logistic regression, support vector mission, decision tree, random forest. Here, these are all different different uh, classification algorithms, supervised learning algorithms. Cluster tab. Cluster tab, you have a different clustering algorithms are there. Partitioning algorithms are hierarchical algorithms. Partitioning algorithms comes under a K-means algorithm, K-medaide algorithm. Hierarchical clustering algorithm. And then bottom-up approach, top-down approach. Here, derisive and then agglomerative, and then density based uh, methods, DB scan, and then uh, grid based methods, sting. These are all different algorithms for the other means. Here, you are applying these algorithms here, and then co coming to the associate tab here. Here, in the particular associate tab here, you are having the different scalable algorithm, Aprilia algorithm, you are applying frequent pattern growth algorithm, and then vertical data format approach vertical data format approach in the, this one. That means main intention of this tag, this tab here is a frequent item set mining. That means from which association and correlation tools can be derived. Here, that is a main intention of association tab, association tab here. 
this is a third associate tab and then select the attribute tab that means future selection select the attribute allows you to, to allows you future selection based on a several algorithms here you have a different algorithms are there subset evaluation classified subset evaluation algorithm principal component algorithm based on this algorithm you will classify the tab and then visualize the tab finally that means you will visualize option allows you allows us to visualize your processor data for analysis that means you can view the data uh, already existed data not uh, that means processor data that means you will visualize in the format that is a visualized tab for a referencing see these references here these are all some of the references on, uh, come get from the wikipedia that is a veka 